Good morning everybody, it's the most amazing day um, in the west of Ireland again um, and I thought that I'd give you a tour of the hut slash cabin and um, I was going to just put it out there that um, I'm going to do these as two separate videos because I thought that maybe it would um, resonate with more people that if I have... Um, Two videos, one of the um, documenting my bipolar and one documenting the gardens and the progress. But anyway, and I'm sorry also I apologise now that I jumped from one thing to the other. That's because with my mind I it jumps from one thing when I'm high and I'm low. So that's the only thing I'm going to say on these videos is... Just basically apologising for that. So anyway, this is the hut. It, as I said before, it was a cattle trailer. Um, and it's all been cladded in uh, corrugate. And, sorry, the screen then went blurry. So it's all in corrugate. And then what I did is I kept the, the, the ramp gates and the ramp... I lifted it up, it's on stilts, and um, made like a little terrace. I do need to screw those boards down, and I made the little steps and things. We did it on a shoestring, you know, and maybe some of you might be able to give me your opinion as well. We're wondering whether to, to paint the corrugate or leave it as it is, just because of the maintenance of it. But... Let me know in the comments what you think we should do. And we've put in this this bath here, which I'm going to build around it with blocks and make a fire pit underneath. So I'm going to have to raise it up and then we can feed it in the middle. And um, so it's basically like a mini hot tub in a way, kind of thing. So anyway... We made the little terrace and um, got little tables and chairs and it's um, a great view from up here, I'll show you. So you can see the vegetable garden from here and we might remove that one little tree there so we can see that tree there. We might remove that so you can see up the field because there's sheep and cows that go into that field. It doesn't belong to us, but um, yeah, it's being used as um, as grazing. I've got to paint the inside of the door. I did the outside and we put in the little window there. Um, these two windows we picked up. They were part of the bay window. I think they were only 25 euro or something like that. So m everything really has been reused apart from the ply on the ceiling. Um, even this banding is just plastic tubing, you know, that we've just screwed up and then painted. But anyway, this is the little hut. We've put in like a little kitchen. There's a cooker there, which is a really old cooker from 19... 1906 which I'm going to put new gas rings in it um, but I'm going to have to get somebody to do that for me because I'm just not confident you know and to be on the safe side and you've got like a storage chest and a little table and chairs here sorry the camera keeps going out of focus I don't know why um, we got a little table and chairs we got a little stove in here the little cooker um, which is from the Netherlands, actually, and it's brilliant. It just runs on paraffin. Um, the stove maybe is a bit big for the size space. It is 6 by 12 in here. Um, it's not high, the ceilings, but if I show it just clears your head. And Francesca did all the sheets and made the curtains, so there's storage underneath there. There is a commode there, so if you were caught short in the night, um, because it's going to be used for 
when people stay over because the house is so small. But it's also like a little den for the kids when, um, you know, in the summer months, they we, we stayed in here in the early spring and we woke up in the morning and it was absolutely covered in snow outside and um, it was so warm and cosy inside here it was unreal the fire we kept in until about sort of half past ten ish and then we let it die out and then we went to sleep we played board games and it was still warm at seven o'clock in the morning and then yeah it was really really fantastic to stay over it was good fun i didn't sand down these boards but we did paint them of course but we didn't sand them down because we thought it made it look a bit more rustic and of course we had to put the corrugate behind the the stove there and um yeah i thought i'd show you and what i might do is i might do a slideshow of the cattle trailer when it first came here and how we did it you know the progress of it and I'll just say quickly because I said I wasn't going to talk it was when I was in a high but this is the sort of thing that I do and I achieve on those things but that's all I'm going to say about that so anyway I hope you all have a great day and I hope the weather's good for you take care everybody and bye for now